and welcome back to Questioning Sense with me, Matt. Okay, um, quick review today, quite a lot to get through. Um, so we're going to have a look at some um, some fragrances um, that are beastly. Now I noticed it comes up quite a lot of discussion on, on sort of various forums and Facebook groups and things like that. Beast mode. Now, what I would like to do is go through my collection and have a look at some of the fragrances that I've got that I class as a beast mode fragrance. So we'll just talk a little bit about them and, and why you'd have them. But it does beg the question, what qualifies a fragrance to be beast mode? Because there's a lot of fragrances out there that are very long lasting or that have really good projection or super sillage, but not always do they have all three. And for me, for a fragrance to be a beast mode fragrance, it needs to have this sort of holy trinity. It needs to last, it needs to have really good performance, it needs to have really good projection, and it needs to have great sillage. And when you combine those, then you'll get a fragrance that I would consider um, beast mode. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fragrances to look at today. So it's gonna be a bit of a whistle, top, whistle stop tour. Um, and what we'll do is they're in no particular order, although I think the number one will probably be the beastliest of beasts. So, okay, let's start with this one. And this is from Towerville, from the very talented Andy Tower. And this is called Rose Flash. And this is a very long lasting, very loud, very beastly rose. If you like rose, um, an uncomplicated rose with a little bit of amber, a little bit of spice and a little bit of booze that lasts like a tattoo, have a look at that. It's completely unisex. It is a beautiful interpretation of a rose and very, very powerful stuff. So we'll start with that one. Next up then, um, we will have a look at Incident Diplomatique by Javoy. Um, I have done quite an extensive review of this one as well as um, actually Rose Flash as well. So here we have quite a masculine 80s powerhouse interpretation, I think would probably be the best way of putting it. This is a beautiful mix of patchouli, of two types of vetiver, of a little bit of spice, a tiny bit of orange in the opening, Massive, massive performance. This fills a room and it stays on your skin for hours. This is a genuine beast. So this will certainly be included in there. And that's uh, Incident Diplomatique from Javoy. Highly recommended this one. Right, next up, we're gonna go to the house of Mansera and we're gonna have a look at Black to Black. This is an absolute monster. This is I mean, it's beautiful, it's rose, it's oud, it's saffron, it's wood, it's a little spicy, it's a little bit leathery, it's... A friend of mine can, can actually thinks this smells a little bit like a portrait of a lady in the dry down. Now, I've only got a sample of portrait of a lady, so I've not actually done them side by side, but I can get where he's coming from. There is some similarities there. But this is a huge fragrance, massive, massive opening. Um, two sprays and you're good to go for the day. This is a real big hitter and highly recommended. It's a beautiful fragrance. Again, there's another full review below. Now, sticking with Mansera, you've got to have a look at that, which is red tobacco. Um, and this is an oudy, sweet, honey tobacco. Beautiful fragrance. Again, it's, um, when you smell it, you, you can, you, you know, it's very much a Mansera. The, uh, the DNA of a Mansera fragrance and that oud that they use is very much within this. Um, really, really good performer though. Um, I don't know if it's my favourite tobacco-based fragrance, but I do really, really enjoy this one. Um, and obviously the performance is fabulous. So well worth having a look at. Now, trying to get through these as quickly as possible so I don't bore you to tears. Next up is an interesting one. And this is number four, Apre L'Amour, Eau de Parfum, from Thomas Cosmala of Paris. Now this is in fact clone. This is a clone of Maison Francis Coeur de Jeanne's Baccarat Rouge 540, and this one to me smells more like the extract. This is a beautiful fragrance, and it also, I mean, I'm a big fan of Baccarat Rouge 540. I don't own it. It's phenomenally expensive. I like the extract um, better, and I've sampled it many times, uh, but I've never been able to uh, justify buying a bottle of it because it is so expensive. There is going to be a review of this coming because I think this doesn't, Certainly in the UK, um, this is very well talked about within certain groups, but I don't think um, it's particularly well known mainstream yet. Um, this is a masculine, slightly less sweet um, take on Baccarat Rouge 540. 
absolutely beast mode. This stays on your skin forever and this has CRs like nothing on earth. This will get you compliment after compliment after compliment. It hangs in the air around you for days. You've got to be very careful when applying this because it just lasts, it projects massively. But the sillage is where this, it, it, it's magical. It just hangs in the air fabulously. Really, really, really good stuff. And as I say, I'm going to be doing a review of it. Hopefully today I want to get a separate review up of this one so we can get you know more information about this out there so more people are aware of it. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Okay, uh, next up, we're going to have a look at Beach Up Man from the House of Amouage. This was one of the first fragrances that I reviewed when we set up the channel a long time ago. And this is just heaven in a bottle. This is a beautiful, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This is a beautiful, clean fragrance. It's nothing, I mean, it's called Beach Hut Man, but it's got nothing to do with the beach at all. This is a minty, sweet, fresh, lavender, green, woodsy, Bomb, and it is my go-to if I want to. If I'm going to work and I know I'm going to have a long day and I want to smell superb and I want to smell superb for the entire day, when I, if you you wear this to work, you will come home smelling as fresh as when you left. Absolutely biblical in terms of its performance. Beautiful liquid. Um, one of my very. This is probably my top three of all time. This fragrance. I absolutely love it. Um, just refined, classy. Um, it is unisex, but I think it leans more masculine than, than being a completely unisex fragrance. But this is a really, really good fragrance and one I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend. And that's Beach Up Man from Amouage. Okay, next up, back in the world of the Mancera Montal. And this is Oud Amazing. This is a fruity melange with Oud. It's quite sweet. It's um, Oudy. Uh, there's a little bit of woods in there when it drives down with some vanilla. It's quite creamy, not overly sweet. The way that the oud is managed within this stops this from becoming way too sweet and overbearing. Um, absolutely wonderful. I got this in the summer as a summer fragrance, but what I've found is it performs even better in cold weather. It's absolutely to die for. Highly, highly recommended. Seems to be getting quite a lot of um, hype at the moment. So, you know, have a look out for it because there's going to be some deals on it, I'm sure. Really, really good fragrance. So next up, we're gonna look at one from the House of Geroff, and this is called More Than Words, and this is beautiful. This is another uh, fruity, oody rose fragrance, which sometimes when you go out, you just think everybody in the world needs to smell me today, and this is one of them. The performance on this is, is astronomical. It fills a room, and it lasts and lasts and lasts. It doesn't ha get as much love as some of the other Xeroffs um, out there from, from not only from the More Than Words, um, from the Join the Club range, um, but from, from Xeroff in general. A lot of people think this is a bit of a Frankenstein because of that use of rose and because of that use of oud and the fruits that give it a little bit, a little bit confusing. I think this is absolutely gorgeous and this just gets compliment after compliment after compliment. Um, as soon as you put it on, you've got it there until you wash it off, basically. An amazing performer, um, very, very beautiful presentation as well. One of my, one of the jewels in my crown or my collection, shall we say. And that is More Than Words by Geroff. So highly, highly recommended you sample this one. Really, really good. Okay, and then the number one spot. I couldn't do it without that. And there we have Auto Parades' Tyrone. This is the beast of beasts. This is rich, it's indulgent, it's smoky, it's dark, it's got paprika -y notes in it, it smells a little bit like roasted nuts, it's sweet, it's, oh, it's unctuous, it's delicious. Um, this is my number one beast mode frag. Um, it lasts for days. Again, like uh, more than words, it just fills a room when you spray it. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful fragrance and I strongly recommend it. If you were a fan of Black Afghano or you know, you'd like that kind of Gaultieri thing, have a look at Taroni because it's an absolute monster. I was talking to some people, to the um, sales assistants in Harrods and it's by far their best-selling um, Auto Parisi. Um Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Um, the bottle's quite cool. The tip, or the tip of the cap there, I don't know if you can see that, but that has got like a dried lava on it because this actually, um, was meant to give uh, a sort of a, an olfactory impression of Mount Vesuvius and the lava and everything like that. Does a pretty good job of it too. It does actually make you think of volcanoes when you um, you, you smell it because it has got such a powerful opening. Huge sillage, huge projection, 
fabulous long lasting perfume. I absolutely love this one. So listen, um, I've got quite a bit to get on with, so I'm gonna crack on with that. And then hopefully I'll be back with you today to give a full review of the Thomas Kosmala um, number four, because this is a really, really good fragrance. Um, listen guys, as always, thank you so much for your time. It's very much appreciated. And we will see you on the next video. So cheers. Bye.